Hey and welcome to new design tips. Today we are going to have a look on something really cool and that's sketch plugins. I will show you a few sketch plugins what can really speed up your workflow so you should definitely check this one out. First plugin we are going to have a look on is actually not a plugin. It's called Sketch Toolbox and it allows you to find and discover new sketch plugins. In this app you can really like search for the plugin you are looking for or simply just you know see what is latest and really easily install it with the click of the button. It's super awesome, super fast way to discover new plugins and it will save you time searching for the plugins on the internet and you should definitely have this one. First real plugin we are going to have a look on is Envision Craft. Most of you are already familiar with this one, so I will really fly quickly over that. So what Envision Craft actually does for you, it adds this panel on the right hand side with a lot of interesting features. So when you will go from the top to the bottom, like first one is really like sync. So you can really sync up your files to the Envision directly. Nothing really interesting. The second one, library. This one is pretty cool. You can actually sync up your design systems, your design style guides, um, your design uh, symbols with other team members. And that's super, super handy. You should definitely try it out. The third, icon here actually allows you to generate content and that's remarkable. So let's have a look on that. So basically here I have created two rows. First one with the names, second one with the address. So I go here, I said that I would like to have like a just uh, mail names. Boom. The second one I go here and I would like to change it to let's say date. Boom. I need to align this to the left hand side. Boom. Awesome. And I can also go to the photos and I can actually say that I would like to have here a folder where the plugin will actually take the images from or from Dropbox or from Unsplash. Or I can just like use some pre-selected pre -selected images they already like have here. Let's actually do that. So let's create new rectangle here. Let's select kits. It's going to download it. Boom, I can actually just select something else. If I don't like it, boom. And it does automatically for you. This really like speed up your workflow. And that's super awesome. When you will go one level further, we can actually group this. Well, let's just remove this. We can actually group this. And what we can do, we can go to the next one and we can uh, say that we would like to duplicate this. So let's select this. Let's say that we want vertical. Let's say you want five copies. We want like, uh, five pixels are spreading and boom we have this with different images different text different dates and that's super awesome this can really speed up your workflow a lot and you should definitely check this plugin out the last one is really interesting too because what allows you really like take a screenshot of your design upload it to the web and other people can actually like draw on your images. You should definitely try this out. Next plugin is called Map Generator. And to be honest, this one is epic. I discovered this one recently, but it allows me to really like speed up my workflow when I'm working on the maps, uh, well, with the maps within the applications, right? Because all the time we need different we need different maps, we need something really cool, and it's really hard to find on the internet. You make a screenshot, etc. Eh, you don't want to do that. So with this plugin, what you do, you basically select the shape layer you would like to have to your map, right? So you go here, you select this rectangle, you go to the plugins, map generator, and here you actually enter the location. Let's say that we want, we want San Francisco just to be, you know, cool. Uh, okay, cool. Cool. Here you can actually select the zoom level and later you can here actually do really cool stuff. You can actually embed the snazzy maps style code to make it even cooler. We will have a look on that on the sec in the second. So you do this and it's just going to generate the map for you if you don't have here any fill as I do. So you just need to turn off the fill. And as you can see, it's generated without any hassle and super, super awesome. You can take this one level further and you can actually go to snazzymaps, snazzymaps.com, you go here and you select 
some style you like, let's say this one, you click here, copy code to clipboard, you go back, you go to plugins, map generator, generate map, you enter the code here, then again San Francisco, uh, okay, boom, and as you can see, it Taken, it taken, it takes the style from the maps and embed that to your design, and that's super awesome. You can even create custom styles, etc. This is really a remarkable plugin. The next plugin we are going to have a look on is called Sketch Measure, and it's super awesome again. With this plugin, you can actually create really awesome specifications for the developers or for your style guides. So let's have a look on that. You want to select some of the elements and you go to the plugins, you go to the sketch measure, you click on the toolbar and it opens up the toolbar for you. And with this toolbar, you can do pretty nice things. So the first one allows you to create the overlay, pretty cool. The next one allows you to create uh, sizing, pretty nice. The next one allows you to highlight the paddings and uh, distances. And the last one allows you to highlight the properties. When you do this with the text, it actually showcased the font, font size, line line height, etc. So this really allows you to be super, fa super fast when you need to export specifications for the developers, etc. Super handy. Before we move on, if you really like my content, make sure you go to my Instagram where I'm sharing a lot of additional hacks and tips and also behind the scenes inside my stories. You can find link in the description. And now let's continue. Sketch Runner. To be honest guys, I thought that this plugin is not useful at all, but then I realized that this is absolutely essential for your workflow. Here is why. When you trigger this plugin with command, you can actually get your command line where you can execute comments and you can do it really easily. This is super awesome, especially when you are building really big UI libraries and you are using a lot of symbols and textiles. Because what you can do here is that you can basically create, you can create, insert and apply new symbols directly from here. So let's have a look on that. If you go to the insert, you can directly from here search for symbol you are looking for. And that's huge time saver because if you go here it's just like too much of work and it can get messy but here you can really easily search for the color you can search for whatever you need and it's super super awesome especially for those who are having really robust ui libraries with a lot of sketch symbols you should definitely check it out this plugin we are going to have a look on is really simple but it's super handy it's called PDF export and it allows me to like really create multi pages multi page PDFs from sketch directly so the way it works is that you select the artboards you would like to have exported it could be multiple artboards with multiple different sub artboards eventually and it will just create fun big PDF for you and it's super awesome. So you select the artboards, you go to the plugins and you have three options here. Export selected artboards, export current page or export all pages. If I would right now press export selected artboards, it would export, export really nice PDF with uh, two pages inside it. And that's super handy and you will definitely find that useful. Next plugin is called Layer Renamer and it's pretty awesome because it allows you to rename or change orders of the multiple layers all at once. So let's have a look on that. We will select multiple layers here. So you can see they are named in a really bad way. So you go to the plugins, you go to rename it and you go to rename selected layers. So you can see here are some helpers for you. So you can you can rename all those. So let's say that we would like to have their name called button and we can go with the percent and we would like to have their like big number. Boom. Well, starting from the, from the from the top to the bottom. So as you can see, it has done that for you and it allows you to be really fast when you need to rename multiple different layers or when you need to simply add uh, order into your messy documents.
<laughs> the last plugin we are going to have a look on is called Distributor. So this plugin is actually, well, eventually is the same what allows what Craft allows you to do, but this is just much more simple way to actually make this happen. So let's have a look on that. So the only thing what Distributor really does for you is here at the plugins, you can distribute items uh, vertically or horizontally. You actually need to have their multiple different uh, like items, let's say like this. Boom. And here what I can do is that I go to distributor, I go to distribute, and horizontally I can say that I would like to have every single one of these from uh, 20 pixels from each other. Boom. And it does that for me. I can do the same stuff vertically like this and I go to the plugins, I go to distributor, distribute vertically and I can say that I would like to have like 50. Boom. And this allows you to again manipulate multiple different layers all at once and it again allows you to be way more faster. And that's pretty awesome as always. <laughs> That's it guys, I hope that you liked this episode and don't forget to smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any upcoming episodes and see you next time.